Today I'm finally decluttering my closet and I'm so excited because I wanted to do this for a while but my weight was fluctuating a little bit too much to do it but now everything is kind of stabilizing even though I'm not where I want to be yet. And how I'm going to do this is actually I'm going to go through everything in categories because that's how my brain works. <laughs> I also prepared two baskets to make the whole thing a little bit easier. This one is for my seamstress so anything that I want to alter I'm going to put it in here or even if I want to fix some things by myself I'm gonna put them here and then this one is for my decluttered items which I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough but yeah <laughs> that's what I have okay let's start with the first category I want to start with t-shirts <laughs> So this one you haven't seen in a while and you will see some pieces that I'm pulling out. I purposefully put them out of my closet so I can see if I forget about them or if I miss them a little bit. <laughs> and this one, when I see it, I haven't had it in my wardrobe for a while and I didn't miss it at all. I don't feel that I really need it. There is nothing special about this t-shirt. So yeah, <laughs> this one is going. Then I have this t-shirt, which is just a white tee. Um, I had this one for a while. It's nice. It's not that fitted. I love the sleeves um, It's a little bit more off-white a little bit more, you know, warm white, but I still love it I still wear it and this one is staying Then I also have this crop tee, which I love so much <laughs> um, Definitely staying. It's just it's fitted It's very very flattering and I love 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 crop tops in the summer and also in the spring and then I have this black t-shirt which has a really unique puff sleeves. <laughs> I love it, I still wear it and it's so so unique and it's so so special so it's definitely staying. Then I also have this one. This one is normal white tee. Um, I just recently bought it and I love that it's crisp white but the sleeves I just want to change them just a little bit so I will keep it but I want to take this to a seamstress so the sleeves are a little bit more tapered like with that one <laughs> so it's staying but it's gonna be altered okay then I also have this t-shirt which again it's a black tee with really really unique sleeves but I love this one I wear it all of the time it's definitely staying and then I also have this one which is not technically a t-shirt but it has kind of a turtleneck with this kind of longer half sleeves which again it's a newer edition and it's definitely staying and then I also have this white tee again it's very unique <laughs> uh, but I love 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 this one so much this one is really old and actually the bottom was also altered to make it a little bit shorter but I love it I love it I love it this one is definitely staying then I have two halter tops this one is a black one it's a cropped halter top it was actually in my lingerie capsule wardrobe I mean in sport capsule wardrobe but now I have it in my main one and I love it it's staying as well as my longer version <laughs> this one is again it's a halter top it's a black one but this one is not cropped it's longer so I can tuck it in it's just so 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 flattering so I love it and then I also have this black off-shoulder tee which it's not the most comfortable <laughs> because it just sits a little bit weird but I'm not sure if that's because I have a little with more weight right now I still want to keep it I want to wait until how much I wear it in the summer to see how much I like it and yeah then I'm gonna decide but for now it's still staying then we have camis the first one that I have is this black cami that yeah I love I wear all of the time so this one is staying then I have this navy cami again I put out of my wardrobe I used to love to wear it with black in the summer but it's just I don't know I'm not excited about this color I think my mom is gonna love this one she loves navy and then I also have a white cami which again I wear all of the time I love it love it love it this one it's kind of <laughs> a bit stained so yeah this is probably the last summer that I'm gonna wear it and then I'm gonna have to replace it but other than that I love it and then I also have a baby pink cami which I also love so much I don't wear it as much but when I want to be a little bit more fancy this is what I go for I love this baby pink color so this one is also staying the last three tops that I have this one is an orange off shoulder top I love it I wear it all of the time it's definitely staying then I also have this white off shoulder top again I had it for ages it's so 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 pretty I love it it's staying and then this one <laughs> I had for a really really long time I bought it in Miami actually <laughs> uh, it's just a sleeveless pink blouse that I love I wear all of the time it's so flowy in the summer so I love it now I just counted everything because I love 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 analyzing so I have my little planner and I'm gonna write everything down so at the end we can see how much I actually decluttered so 
For a first category of summer tops, I decluttered two items and I kept 16. When it comes to my long sleeve tees, the first one that I have is this white one. It's a crew neck long sleeve tee. <laughs> I love it. I wear it all of the time. It's definitely a staple and it's not going anywhere. I had it for ages. Then I also have a black one that it's exactly the same. It's just a crew neck black long tee. Such a such a staple. I love it. I wear it all of the time. So it's staying. And then I have this one that it's, it's kind of a cashmere blend and it's a very light jumper. As you can see, it's kind of see-through, but the color is just not my favorite. I put this one out of my wardrobe again to see if I miss it. I don't miss it at all. I don't really like gray that much. And then I also have this one that it's the same brand in this kind of color, which it's not the worst color, but I just don't like it that much. It's very, very light. I want to be decluttering this one. <laughs> And then I also have, again, the same design, the same everything in different colors, which these two, I'm gonna be keeping them both because I love the colors. So this one is an orange one. It's so fun and I love wearing this one, so it's staying. And then I also have this very, very nice fuchsia pink. <laughs> yeah, I love these two colors. So these are staying as well. And now to my button-ups. The first one that I have is this white button-up that again, I had for a really long time. Maybe I'm gonna need to update it in the future because it's yellowing a little bit and it has stains around armpits. But other than that, I still love it. I still wear it, so it's gonna be staying. Then I also have this one. <laughs> I love button-ups, you will see. This one is sheer, it's black, and I just wore it yesterday. <laughs> I love it so much, so it's definitely staying. Then this one <laughs> is something that I had in my least worn items of 2021. But since then, for some reason, I love, love, love wearing it. This year, it's one of my favorite button-ups and I wore it a ton and it's definitely staying. Then I also have coral button-up, which is just out of the wash. It's a little bit wrinkly, but yeah, I love it. I love the color. I wear it all of the time. It's definitely staying. Then I have this one, which when it comes to baby pink colors, they have to have some kind of a cooler undertone because otherwise I don't really feel like it flatters my skin tone the best. And this one, I just feel like my skin is just, it doesn't really work with it. So this one I'm gonna be decluttering today. Then I also have this black silk button up again, that it's not sheer, it's just normal silk, shiny silk. Again, love it, wear it, it's staying. And then I also have this, this color, which I love. This one is again, it's shiny silk, but at the back, it has a little bit of a different material. So it's very comfortable. A button is missing, so I'm gonna <laughs> have to fix it. So I'm gonna put it in that basket later. And then I also have two tops that are a little bit more unique, but they still fall under long sleeve tops category. <laughs> the first one is this one that I had for ages. I wore it last week to see if I want to keep it and I decided to declutter it because it's just not me anymore. It's a very unique, very special top, but it's just, I don't really feel like myself when I wear it. And then this one, it's a, it's a lace bodysuit that I actually love very much. But I noticed that because it's a bodysuit, I don't reach for it as much as I would like to. So I think I'm gonna take it to the seamstress so she can actually take this part away. I'm just not a fan of bodysuits. So this one is staying, but just I'm gonna alter it. So for this category, I decluttered four items and I'm keeping 12. And now to my cardigans, I don't have a lot. <laughs> the first one is this one that it's a newer edition. It's a long black cardigan. It's very warm, it's very stylish and definitely staying, I love it so much. Then I have this one that is the only colorful one. <laughs> I don't really love the color. So that's the first thing. The second thing, it's not very warm. And the third thing is I'm not really a fan of cardigans. I don't really love wearing them that much. So I don't need a huge selection. So this one I'm gonna be decluttering. Then this two, uh, for this one, the first one that I have, it's a black one. It's kind of a normal cardigan with little buttons, which I switched. They were shiny before, but now I have matte black buttons. So it's a little bit more stylish. This one I'm gonna be keeping it for now. I love to wear it in the summer, kind of tied, you know, with a dress. So this one is gonna be staying. For this one, 
I mean, I still love it. I don't wear it a ton. I just recently started experimenting with a new outfit formula where I have my high-waisted jeans and I have a cami and then I put this on top of it. I think it looks pretty cool. So for that reason, I want to keep it. But if I don't wear it a lot this year, then it's definitely going to be going. So for my cardigans, I'm keeping three and I'm decluttering one. And now to my biggest category out of all, <laughs> I really have to declutter here. So the first one that I have is this one. It's just a really, really stunning baby pink with a cooler undertone jumper with this really nice silver buttons. And I love, love, love this one is staying. Then what is also staying is this orange turtleneck. It's such a unique turtleneck. I love it. It has puff sleeves and this kind of balloon sleeves. I just love, love, love this one. So <laughs> definitely staying as well as this jumper, wool jumper. Very cozy, very warm, and I just love the color. So <laughs> this one is staying as well. And then I also have this one, <laughs> but it's again, it has puff sleeves and balloon sleeves. I love it very much. It's kind of very me. It's such a nice jumper. So this one is gonna be staying. And then what I have is this black normal. It doesn't have any puff sleeves, but it's just a black turtleneck. I had this one for a really long time. It's still in great shape. So it's a staple. I love it and it's staying. As well as this one that it's a black crew neck jumper. I mean, it's kind of falling apart just a little bit. I had to fix a few holes, but for this season, it's still gonna be okay. And I'm gonna continue wearing it until it falls apart. So this one is staying. And then I also have this one that it's, it kind of looks gray on camera, I think, but in person it's, it's just black and white pattern. And I love it, it's unique. And yeah, I wear it all of the time, so it's staying. Uh, this one, I definitely wanna keep. This one is a plum turtleneck. I love it. I love this kind of color in the winter. So it's staying as well as this one. <laughs> this one, it's a newer buy and I love the color. It's, it's very warm. It's just, I like this turtleneck. So it's staying. Then this one I was on the fence about. So I wore it last week and I decided to keep it because I really, really love the sleeves. They're a little bit more unique. I was kind of thinking it's a bit uncomfortable. That's what I had in my head, but I wore it last week and I was absolutely fine. So it's staying. My maybes I'm just going to put here for now. <laughs> then I have this one. It was a turtleneck originally, but we transformed it into a mock neck. <laughs> the problem with this one is that it shrunk. This one is 100% cashmere and it shrunk and I don't really want to have it in my wardrobe anymore. And then I also have this one that it's Again, 100% cashmere, it's from the same brand, but I'm not sure what changed. I think they all shrunk just a little bit. They're a bit tricky to work with. So this one I'm also gonna be decluttering as well as the gray jumper as well. I also had the baby pink one that I also decluttered because that one shrunk a ton, <laughs> so I couldn't fit it. But this one again, it's a gray color, which I don't like gray. It's just not very. And then I have also this off shoulder jumper which it's gonna be staying. It's very feminine, it's very fun, so <laughs> definitely staying. And now to my three maybes. <laughs> I'm really not sure what to do with them. I feel like they're all kind of the same kind of color. I already kept two white jumpers, I think. Do I need five? No, I don't. This one is actually light gray, but from afar it looks kind of off-white. So what should I do? Should I put them on? Let me put them on. <laughs> So I just looked at myself in the mirror and I definitely don't think I would buy it again right now. I just feel it also lost a little bit of the shape. It's stretched out. The neck, it doesn't really sit in a nice way. Also, like I said, it has so many holes. You know what I want to do? I want to put a 10 on <laughs> so I can see the difference. So this jumper, one out of 10, it's definitely a 10. I just love, love, love how it looks. And when I have trouble letting things go, I always compare, you know, an item that I'm not sure about with a 10. And then if there is a huge difference, I know I need to declutter it. So this one, I'm gonna be decluttering. I don't think I will miss it. This one is so much prettier. I love it. Now for this one, again, I'm not sure about it. I'm gonna put it on to see. So this one is a 10, okay? <laughs> so this is the second piece. Would I buy it again? I don't think I would actually. I used to love it so much and I used to wear it so much. I'm kind of confused. Why don't I love it anymore? I mean, I love the off shoulder detail, but I think what I don't like is this little holes and this little frills. I think it's a little bit too childish for me right now. 
<laughs> I'm not sure, but for now, I decided I want to keep it. On second thought, <laughs> I think I prefer this one much more to this one. I think I should let this one go, to be honest. It just doesn't feel very me anymore. Like this one, the color is maybe not the best, but still the fit is very me. I love the turtleneck, I love that it's fitted. I just feel it's elegant, it's classic, and I can wear it for a really long time. So this one, I definitely want to keep. I feel great in it. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna let this one go and this one I'm gonna be keeping. So now I just changed back <laughs> and I counted everything and I'm keeping 12 jumpers and I'm decluttering five, which I'm so proud of myself. This is not as easy. <laughs> Now to my dresses, which is again a huge category um, and I love, love, love dresses. So <laughs> the first one that definitely I'm gonna be keeping is this one. This is a really, really nice long maxi dress. I love it, it's so colorful, it's staying. Then also this cami dress is staying as well. I love it, it's such a fun color and I love cami dresses because you don't get weird tan lines. I need more of cami dresses in the future. Then this one, obviously staying as well. It's a newer edition. I wore it a ton this summer, I feel so feminine in it. <laughs> so it's definitely staying. And then this one I had for a really long time but I love it so much. It has this kind of, you know, off shoulder design. I love it, I love summer dresses. This is what I live in in the summer, so it's staying. And then I have this black maxi dress that actually, again, I put out of storage because I wanted to see if I miss it. And also my sister tried it on <laughs> and it looks so much better on her than it does on me. She's taller than me. For me, I just feel I'm too petite. I mean, I'm not petite, but I'm too small to wear this one. It just kind of bunches up. It's not very flattering, this one. Oh, then I have this one. It's a gorgeous dress. Definitely not going anywhere. It's a really, really nice dress, summer dress. I love it so much. It's staying. As well as this one. This one I had for ages. <laughs> a really, really long time. Maybe seven, eight years. I'm not sure. Really long time. It's staying. I love it. As well as this one. Now, this one I don't wear a ton because it's a little bit more restrictive but when I wanna put really, really nice, like for a date night or something, I love to wear it. So this one is gonna be staying. Now, this dress is also a really old dress. I just really don't wear it a lot because it has this little detail right here and also the peekaboo. So when I wear a jacket, it kind of looks weird with this kind of skin showing. So it's not very versatile. I cannot really layer it. This one is going today. Now this one is a cami dress. Again, I love cami dresses and it's layered at the bottom, really, really nice. This one is so nice to also wear in the fall because you can really layer it, so I just love it. Then for some of my winter dresses, this one, it's a black turtleneck cashmere dress. I love it, it's very warm, I wear it. As well as this one, this is a wool dress. I call it my wearable blanket because I, it feels that way, so I love it. As well as this one. You've seen me buy this one. I still love it as much as the first day. Love the color, love the length. I uh, love that it's a turtleneck, just it's staying. Also this dress is staying as well. I love it, it's so youthful but elegant. I don't know, <laughs> I love this dress, so it's staying. And then this one is a newer edition that I just bought. Love it, it's very comfy and yeah, it's definitely staying. As well as this dress, this is kind of a black, sleeveless dress that it's perfect for layering. I can wear my button-ups underneath and I can also wear it in the winter, in the summer, the entire year. So that's why it's staying. Now this one, I wore it last week to see how I feel about it. And like I said, I still love it. It shows a little bit too much, but I still love it and I still want to keep it. But then these dresses, I'm not sure what to do with them. Should I try it on again? Okay, I will. <laughs> so here is the dress, showing you the best as I can. I wasn't sure because I bought the new black dress that it's completely covered in the sleeves. I wasn't sure if I should keep both, but now that I put it on, I just love the sleeves. And even if I don't wear it loads, it doesn't matter. I don't want to declutter it, I love it. <laughs> now for my next dress is this one that also is very old. I'm gonna put it on and you can help me decide what we can do. <laughs> I don't have on a proper bra, so we can just ignore that. It doesn't look very nice here, but <laughs> I still wanted to show you how it looks. First, it's very long. So I can, you know, I can step on my toes and you can see. And the second thing is that 
it's a little bit hard to walk in this dress because if I make steps, it's restricting me. So what I was thinking, and let me know what you think, that I should shorten it and also create a little split in the side. Just keeping it for special occasion with heels, I never wear it like this. So let me know what you think. And now I will switch into my last dress. <laughs> This one is definitely staying. I'm not sure what I was thinking, why it was a maybe, because I put it on and it's definitely a 10. I love the color. I was thinking that maybe <laughs> I wouldn't like it because the white jumper that I showed you with off-shoulder sleeves, they're the same material, the same design, so I was maybe thinking because of that, but I put it on and I love it. So this one is definitely staying. Okay, <laughs> this is so time consuming, but I'm doing my best to go through everything. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you're proud of me, I know I'm not decluttering a lot, but this closet has been decluttered so many times already. So it's no surprise that I love the majority of stuff. So for my dresses, let me count what I have. So I'm keeping 18 dresses and I'm decluttering two. And now for all of my jackets and blazers, I think I have just the right amount. The first thing that I have is this denim jacket that I had again for ages. It's elastic, it's really nice and I love wearing it. Then I also have this new leather jacket that I love, it's staying, I'm not gonna be decluttering it of course. <laughs> and then I also have this white denim jacket, it's really unique, it has this little design. As you can see it's not very versatile but I still love it, it still brings me joy and yeah, it's still gonna be staying. And then for my blazers, I have four. The first one is this one, black with silver buttons. I love it, I wear it, it's staying. Then I have this black gold blazer. Again, love it, wear it, it's staying. <laughs> I also have a white blazer with white buttons, so it's very versatile, it's definitely staying. And then I also have this really, really nice coral blazer. I love the color and it's staying as well. I'm not gonna be decluttering anything from here because I love all of my items and I wear them all. So in total, I'm keeping seven jackets and blazers and I decluttered zero. <laughs> I think I should put things back in my closet because this is getting out of hand. Let me do that first. <laughs> I also wanted to ask you, have you come this far? If you did, leave me an emoji of little eyes down below. I'm so sorry, I keep giving you emojis to, <laughs> to put in the comments, but I'm having too much fun with this, so I hope you don't mind. And I know this is the longest video I've ever done. I've been filming for two and a half hours, so I'm not sure how long it's gonna be, but if you come so far, let me know. I just cleaned a little bit, which I feel so much better now. <laughs> I just cannot think when things are disorganized. So <laughs> let's continue with all of my jeans. Jeans are where it's a little bit tricky for me. I have a weird relationship with jeans. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one, but let's start with jeans that I know I'm gonna keep 100%. So these are my newer high-waisted skinny jeans that I just bought. I love them, I wear them, obviously they are staying. And then I also have this pair, again, from Levi, it's the same style, but just in a different wash. Love them, wear them, they're not going anywhere. I just love these jeans so much. <laughs> I know these are not technically jeans, but I kind of count them in the same area. So these are faux leather pants. You know, they have a space for a belt and also pockets, so that's why I count them as jeans. They're really loved and worn, maybe you can see. They're very comfortable, so they are staying. As well as my black high-waisted skinny jeans, which again, I love, I wear all of the time. <laughs> so they are staying. Then, what I have are some of my older jeans. So the first pair that I want to declutter today is this black mid-rise skinny jeans. From the start, they just weren't the most comfortable jeans. Even if I would buy black medium-rise jeans in the future, I wouldn't go for this pair because it's slightly uncomfortable. So this one, I want to be decluttering. These jeans is just, I want to be decluttering as well. And I don't know what happened if my style has changed. I think I matured a little bit <laughs> because this distressed jeans, I'm just not reaching for them. I just don't find them flattering, the whiskering, the lighter patches, I just don't like this. Even though I used to love to wear them, now when I see them it's just like, well, it's not me anymore. Then I also have this pair that is definitely staying. I always thought that they're medium rise, but it actually says low rise. <laughs> 
but okay. They're a little bit tight on me at the moment, but once I'm kind of, you know, just a kilo less, they're very, very comfy and definitely staying. I love this. And then I also have these two pairs that I can fit into them, um, but it's just, I mean, I can also kind of close them, but they're just too small for me right now. What I want to do is I want to wait one more year. Of course, I'm not going to put them in my wardrobe. I'm going to put them somewhere else after one year. I'm going to try them on and decide if I want to keep them or not. So the first are these coated black jeans. You can see they're really tiny. And these are kind of, they're from Levi and they're super skinny jeans. So they're very, very fitted. So I have to, you know, put them aside. Okay, this pair, I think I want to declutter because they're slightly too big. Even today, they're slightly too big. Uh, but how I wear them is usually with my wool tights underneath. So I get that extra layer of warmth. Other than that, I don't find anything special about these jeans. I just, you know, I don't feel great in them. I just don't. And with jeans, I just have to kind of change my thinking about jeans because I just keep holding onto jeans and I don't want to buy new jeans and it's just ridiculous because I should, you know, <laughs> have jeans that I love but I usually go for jeans that are around 100 euros or 120 and then it's really hard for me to declutter them and it's very really hard for me to buy them. So this were luckily much, much, much cheaper. So. I will be letting them go. <laughs> this pair I bought in an outlet and they only had the length of a 30. So I usually buy jeans with 32. So they're a little bit more cropped than I would like. Also, I had to fix the zipper twice already. I just love the rise. I love how it sits on my butt. I love, love, love the color. Looking from outside, I would probably say to myself, declutter them let them go move on and try to find a similar pair it's okay it's okay they're just jeans <laughs> oh. um and then i also have this white pair they're really good quality and they still fit me very nicely uh, i just wish there would be a higher rise now that i got into wearing higher rise you know sometimes i don't love the mid rise anymore but I want to keep them until I get that pair because otherwise I would feel that I have gap in my jean collection. So for my jeans, I'm keeping eight pairs, including the two that I'm going to put away to see later. And I'm decluttering four. So I just have three shorts in total and I don't have anything to declutter here. The first are black shorts, high-waisted shorts. I love them. I wear them all the time. They are staying. Then I also have my white high-waisted shorts. Love them, wear them all of the time, especially in the summer, so they are staying. And then I also have my denim shorts, which again, lovely for summer. I wear them all of the time and they are staying. So I'm just keeping three shorts and I'm decluttering zero. <laughs> then for my skirts, I don't have a lot. The first thing that I know I'm gonna be keeping is this black mini skirt, high-waisted, very stretchy, very comfy, definitely staying so versatile, as well as my faux leather skirt, again, very versatile, very comfy, I love this too. <laughs> then what it's also staying is my denim skirt. So this one I love wearing in the summer, it's a higher waist, so it's perfect to wear with my crop tops. And then two skirts that I want to be decluttering. <laughs> this one you've seen in my least worn items of 2021 and then I put it in storage and I forgot about it. <laughs> I love the color but I don't like love the color because of the versatility. If I would have a wool skirt like this in maybe a white or a cream or a beige or even tan color, I think I would love it. But a pink skirt? No. And also this one, you've also seen in my list worn items of 2021. It's a really, I mean, it's not good quality skirt anyways. <laughs> I had it in storage, I didn't miss it, and it's definitely gonna be decluttered. So I'm keeping three and I decluttered two. Now to my pants. I don't have a lot of them, but let me just go through everything. The first are these pants that they are cropped chokers, cropped pants, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. I love them. They are so, so, so comfy. They have higher rise, so I can wear them with my summer tops also. I love them. Then I also love what I call my special occasion pants. So that means <laughs> they are appropriate to wear with heels. So they have a higher rise and they're super elegant. I just feel so, so, so stylish and elegant when I wear them. And then the third black pants that I have are this 
the length is perfect to wear with sneakers so they, again they have a little bit of a higher rise no noticeable hardware and i love wearing this with sneakers <laughs> and now this is something you've probably never seen before so we have to decide I mean, I have to decide, <laughs> you can help me, what I can do with them. So here they are in all of its glory. You can see they're really, really long. And I could technically wear them with heels, but I never did because I don't go anywhere <laughs> where I would need to wear pants like this with heels. So what I was thinking with these pants, one is I can shorten them so they fit nicely with my summer heels or i can shorten them to wear with my white sneakers <laughs> so let me know what you think i will definitely keep them and put them in my alteration pile but i'm just not sure which length should i go for so let me know like i said i'm keeping all of them so that means four pairs are staying and i decluttered zero now I also want to go quickly through my accessories, but I'm not going to count these because they're kind of not clothes. So I'm just counting clothes. But for my belts, the first belt that I have is this white with gold buckle. It's really, really old. So I'm definitely looking for a replacement, but for now it still works. It's still good. So I'm keeping it. Then I also have this stand belt, which again, <laughs> I'm going to be keeping, has a gold buckle. Then I have this black belt. I love this one, I wear it loads, so definitely staying. As well as this one, <laughs> this one is such a lovely, lovely belt. I wear it all of the time, it's a really, really nice statement belt. And then I also have my waist belt. It's a little bit too wide, I want to find something a little bit smaller I can wear in the waist, but still wide enough. And then I'm gonna declutter this one, but for now, it's still gonna be staying. And then I also have this waist. It came with the faux fur coat. When I wear my faux fur coat, I never ever wear this kind of belt. So I think I'm gonna declutter it. I don't really need it. Now for my outerwear, again, I'm not gonna go through everything. I'm just gonna show you one coat that I'm gonna declutter 100%. This one is a black coat. And the reason I'm decluttering it is because I got my black wool coat instead of this one. And I had this one in storage. I never ever missed it. So for me, that's a good sign that I don't really need it anymore. And then for my scarves. This scarf, I love it. It's definitely staying. As well as my white scarf. So lovely, so nice. It's staying. This one again, <laughs> reversible. I love it. It's definitely staying. And this pink scarf also. I kind of have a thing for scarves. You, you, can, you can see. <laughs> this one is also a 10. Definitely staying. I love it in the fall. And then this one is something that I put in storage not too long ago. And you can see it's a solid color, which I think I'm not a fan of solid colors when it comes to scarves. I love my check patterns or hearts or, you know, fun details. Yeah, so this one I'm gonna be decluttering. Now this one, it's also something I'm on a fence about. Again, <laughs> it's a solid color, which I think that's my lesson today. I don't like gray colors, you've seen, and also I don't like solid scarves. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it for now and then this one again I'm gonna be decluttering I wore it last week it just the way I tie it it bothers me because it has no friction it also doesn't really give me a lot of warmth I just don't find it that practical for me how I wear my scarves I think it's time for me to let it go I will also go through my swimsuits just a little bit. <laughs> the bottoms, they're kind of all the same. You, need, you don't need to see that. This top is definitely staying. This is a swimwear that looks like this, as well as this one. I love it. This one is staying. I have a white top as well, staying, as well as this. This is, these are brand new. I never actually wore them. They're tiny, but <laughs> I think they're gonna be amazing in the summer. Also this one, oh, how gorgeous is this color? This one is definitely staying. And then this one I also bought at the end of the summer. It's just kind of, you know, strapless, so no, no straps is gonna be showing. And then I also have, it's kind of the same as the white one and this one, but just in black. But then what I wanna be decluttering is this one. This one is absolutely gorgeous, but we all have different shapes. So, you know, we all need different bikinis. And this one, when I wear it like this and then I move around, it's kind of gaping because it's really, it holds its shape. So it's gaping all of the time. I will be decluttering this one as well as the bottoms. And then also I have this black top, again, the same reason. 
you can see it holds the shape when I wear it it's just gaping all of the time and then I feel self-conscious and I don't want to move around which it's bad so I'm gonna be decluttering just the top because I repurpose the bottoms with this kind of top <laughs> Again, I'm not gonna count these pieces. These are just kind of to show you because I love watching what people declutter, so <laughs> you're welcome. So I just have three pairs of tights. They're all too small on me, which is ridiculous because I always buy the same size in Calcedonia, but some tights are, you know, smaller than others. And also one pair of tights are actually from Sheer Tags, which are unbreakable tights. And these are 15 denier and they're too small on me. But I have the same size in 30 denier and they're perfect, so go figure. And then I also have two pairs of socks. They're high-waisted, they're knee socks, and they're just a little bit too, yeah, tight. That's the best word to describe. So I don't really reach for them. And then also one pair of panties. This was part of the set, but now I don't have the bra anymore and I just don't wear panties on its own. I also have some pieces in my sport capsule. So this is the first one. It's really, really stretched. Someone else, you know, can still use it, but for me, it doesn't really work anymore. These are Nike shorts that again, I was on the fence the last time that I was decluttering my capsule. But now that I got new pair, these are not necessary anymore. And then also I was actually debating to declutter both of these jumpers. I just feel I have too many jumpers in my collection. This one, I do love it but I don't love it. <laughs> I'm not crazy about it anymore. I mean, but I can still give it some time. I will give it some time, okay. But this one, I'm gonna be decluttering 100%. I got my cropped black jacket from Adidas just not too long ago, and I feel this one is no longer necessary. I hope you don't mind it. I also decluttered some things from my underwear and sportwear and swimwear. It's just, I was doing my closet, so I wanted to include those things as well. Just. You know, so I can start with a fresh closet for the next year. <laughs> I counted everything that I did in all of the categories, except for these things I did at the end. So accessories, outerwear, swimwear, all of that stuff. So I had 106 items in total. I decluttered 20, which means that I'm left with 86 items and that is 80% of wardrobe declutter. And if you want my best tips on how you can declutter your wardrobe as well, then watch this video next. I will give you all of the tips in detail. It's really an amazing video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.